Hey, hey guys, it's Brianna Maddox here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about two readathons that I'm going to be participating in next week, and I am so excited about them. So, there's two different readathons taking place at the same time. One of them is longer than the other. So, we have the Romance Opoly readathon and the Light versus Dark readathon, and I'm going to talk about both of them separately and give you some more information on them. So, the Romance Opoly readathon is taking place from April 27th to May 3rd. So the whole goal of this is it goes along with the reading challenge that is taking place all year long and it's basically if you've if you've never heard of it before it's basically kind of like the game of Monopoly which I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with but it's basically a game board setup just like Monopoly and each square is a different reading challenge and this was started by the ladies over at UTC book blog. I know mostly I think it's Francesca and Suzanne that participate the most in it and then also Jessica from Peace Love Books. So they created this last year. Last year they just had one time around the board and just different challenges for each square and everything. This year they kind of ramped it up and they actually came out with two different packs. They had the moon pack and the sun pack. Each square around the board has a different prompt. They're both the same name like one of the squares is called Passion Place or New View. Just the book you're supposed to read for that challenge is different based on the challenge you are participating in whether you're doing the moon pack or the sun pack. So I was being extremely ambitious this year and I actually decided to do both challenges. So I'm completing the moon pack as well as the sun pack. So I have a lot of reading to do. So that's what Romanceopoly is. So they created a readathon just to help everybody kind of knock through all of those books, whether you're participating in one of the challenges or completing both like I am. So it's just a way to help, you know, work through that big old TBR. So they have seven different prompts for you to work through during these few days that we are doing this readathon. And the first challenge is to read a book that is the same color as the square you choose. So each square around the board is a different color, just kind of like the game of Monopoly where there's, you know, red, yellow, green, blue, you know, all of that. So that's the first challenge. The second challenge is to read a book that is recommended to you. The third challenge is to read a book that's on your TBR. Challenge number four is to read a new author or series to you. Challenge number five is to read a book with an animal on the cover. But challenge number six is to read a book with a long title. And then the final challenge is to read a standalone. So then the next readathon that I mentioned is the light versus dark readathon. And if you are a Star Wars fan, fan or really know anything about Star Wars, May 4th is kind of like a really big day for the Star Wars community. So they kind of, there's a bunch of ladies who got together on BookTube. I will put all of their links in the description, but they came up with this really cool idea to do a light versus dark readathon. And basically you either pick the light side or the dark side and based upon whichever side you choose there's different prompts that follow along with that challenge. So of course being the reader I am, I pick the dark side because I love my dark books. So there's six different challenges for whichever side you choose and this, as I forgot to say, so the light versus dark readathon takes place from May 1st through the 3rd and then there's actually going to be a live show on the 4th where everybody just kind of wraps up everything that they read and just kind of have like a fun time. So there is six different challenges for you to do whether you know whichever side you choose to do. I just decided to do the dark side so the first challenge was to read a taboo romance. The second challenge is to read a book that has a black and red cover. The third challenge is to read a book that has, you know, the moon and the stars on the cover. So however you want to fit that into the prompt. Challenge number four is to read a bad boy romance. So of course this is probably pretty easy in the dark romance world because there's pretty much every single character is a bad boy. So I feel like it's really hard to come by a character who's not a bad boy in the dark romance world. Challenge number five is to read a BDSM romance. And then the final challenge is to read an MC dark romance. Actually this morning when I was sitting down and you know figuring out what I was gonna even read next week, which I think when I put this up, it's actually gonna be the week of the readathons. That's a lot of prompts to knock out in basically whether I participated in 
you know, the light versus dark, which is really only three days, and then the Romanceopoly readathon. That, regardless, that's a lot of prompts. Somehow, I was able to condense all 13 challenges and fit it into five books, which is absolutely crazy. However, <laughs> what's even more crazy is one of the books that I actually have six prompts that fits for them. So it knocks out almost pretty much half of the challenges for just one book, which is absolutely madness. The first book that I'm going to be reading for this challenge is called I Was Born Ruined by C.N. Stunnage. This is a reverse harem, also an MC dark romance. So for the light versus dark readathon, this will knock out three different challenges. And the first one is to read a taboo romance. So of course a reverse harem is going to fall into that category of a taboo romance. The second one is to read a bad boy romance. Of course that's going to fit perfectly. The third challenge I am knocking out is going to be an MC dark romance since this is an MC book. So the three challenges for Romance Opley, the first one that I'm knocking out is going to be a book that was recommended to me. I was recommended this book from one of my friends in the Queens of MC group. The second book, or the second challenge that I'm going to be knocking out is a book that has been on my TBR. This book was actually on my TBR for a while. I had seen it before, like just glancing on, I think it was either Goodreads or Amazon. I stumbled upon it, thought it was kind of interesting, and then I actually got it recommended to me. And then the third challenge I'm going to be knocking out for Romance Opley is to read a book from a new to me author. I have never read her work before, so I am extremely excited to get started with it. The next book that hits a lot of the different prompts is going to be kind of one where I kind of work my way through the prompts, but it is going to be Do You Want to Start a Scandal by Tessa Dare. The biggest prompt I guess that this fits is for Romanceopoly. The biggest challenge I'm going to be hitting is to read a book that is the same color as the square. So this is for the sun pack in the cobbles. So this specific prompt is to read a historical romance that has a title that is longer than five words. So this of course is longer than five words so it hits it perfectly. So not only I know I'm kind of cheating because it's not just pink, it's got some blue on it, but you know the step back like the side of it is pink, her dress is pink, the spine is pink. It fits. Where am I going to make it work? This fits the prompt for the readathon to read a book that is the same color as a square. This is also a long title, so that knocks out that prompt. And then also a standalone. So historical romance works a little bit differently in that, yes, this is actually part of a series. I believe this is book five in the Spindle Cove series. In historical romance, you don't have to necessarily read them in order and, you know, miss special pop points. Nothing is going to get revealed in anything like that. They're pretty much true standalones, just kind of in a collective world, if that makes sense. Alright, so next up, this one's actually going to knock out <clears throat> one challenge from the light versus dark and then romance all So I'm going to be reading Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher. So this is actually going to knock out the prompt from Light vs. Dark where it has a moon and the stars on the cover as well as for Romanceopoly with an animal on the cover because you have this really cute little French bulldog at the bottom of the cover. So next up, I am really, really, really excited about these two books. They have been on my TBR forever and I know some of you guys are going to be freaking out that I'm even reading these which this book that I'm about to mention it's a very popular author as well as just a series in general. I'm going to be reading Hideaway by Penelope Douglas. This is the second book in the Devil's Night series and this is going to fit the prompt for her to read a book that has a cover that is red and black. And then the final challenge for me to complete is to read a BDSM book and for this I chose to do Pennies by Pepper Winters which I know I keep saying that I'm a really big fan of dark romance and it's always been told that Pepper Winters is kind of like the queen of dark romance and you know one of those authors that I feel like everybody who's a fan of dark romance has read but to admit I've actually never read one of her books yet but so I'm really excited to get the chance to actually read one of her books this book this series is actually kind of controversial there's got a lot of themes like slavery and captivity so it's going to be kind of questionable content but I'm really excited to see what my personal thoughts are going to be um, I think this is actually a five book series so I'm going to be very curious to see what my thoughts are on this book. Those are the five books 
and the 13 challenges that I'm going to be completing. Um, I will probably do some kind of vlog throughout the whole week of both, you know, both readathons and, you know, my journey as I read these five books. So we'll see how it goes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I should see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.